What are you expecting from God this weekend? Feel his presence, kind of move in the way that he, only he can move for you personally, if you are ready and willing to reach for it. Lots of revelation. Lots. Miracles. More of what I've received over the last year. Learning more about God and getting closer to him. And, and I heard so many uh, new, uh, different ideas. So it has been very, very good. I'm expecting to learn more about prayer and faith because I'm listening to Chad and get closer to God. Greater understanding of God's Word. Super excited just to be more set free and healed and just to be touched by God. Well, right now I'm dead, so. Oh, see? See, we're dead. <laughs> and that I'm going to get healed of anything that I have. To have a deeper relationship in the supernatural. I mean, I see things now, but not like I know I should. How far did you travel for these meetings? We're from Winnipeg, Canada. I don't know the kilometers or miles. About five hours. Not very far. I live a few blocks away. Four and a half hours. We are from Steinbeck, from Manitoba. We came for our 41st anniversary. 182 miles from the cities. I'm from Kansas. Nine hours. Was it a fun trip? Um, yeah, it kind of was. 20 miles. No. 30 miles. How long have you been following Chad Gonzalez? I've been a partner okay. for, I think, over a year. I'd say about a year. About um, a year. Almost a year? About a year, yeah. yeah. Maybe almost two years? My husband, he has done a lot longer, but I have about a couple of months. Wow, this is like my second year. A year. Uh, one year. One We've seen year. him last year. <laughs> have you ever been healed by God? Oh yes, many times. Probably the biggest one in my life was when I was 13. I was healed of fear and worry, and I could wake up the next morning and I noticed that like, I could breathe for the first time, and it was oh, so freeing. It has been a gradual thing. Um, I've noticed year by year the difference and changes. It has to do with staying consistent with um, your faith that God has healed you. Um, that is the key. I have seen tremendous change in in my physical body so it's various things like if I pull my back or just kind of different things that have happened and then I'll pray God blesses me a lot well my hip was totally out of joint I did not expecting I just went to the meetings and all of a sudden they just pointed at me you have some hip problem and I figure oh, oh my goodness I figure how do you know that so they called me up front they had a chair there and they prayed and as they prayed, uh, my leg was shorter than the other one. Okay. So they prayed and that just became longer and, oh my and my hip was just completely healed. And it has been for 20, 30 years now already. Yes. 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 I was healed of breast cancer. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, last year? Last, last year, year and a half ago. Yeah. <gasps> What is something that you've heard from Chad Gonzalez that has completely changed your life, mind, or thinking? Just about healing. Yeah, what did he talk about yesterday? Oh, we have to be dead to sin. And if we are, our bodies are dead, nothing can happen to us. Being God inside minded a lot, using that as your anchor and not letting anything else moving you from that. Um, because we are anchored in Christ and whatever was is not anymore because we are new in Jesus. That we live in two different worlds. I think it's that union, you yes. know, that you finally realize that you're unplugged from the world system and you can plug into God's way of, of this new reality. The spirit realm is probably uh, what most people, what we're all lacking is mm -hmm. to, to go from the physical to the spiritual realm and to be in that space yeah i think that's where we need that's, that's so the goal pretty much what he said it's all well, it's all new new to us right and i have i have gotten so blessed i used to always what chad was teaching by jesus stripes i'm healed and say it over and over and that just nailed me because that's what I did, but I never felt peace afterwards. Yeah. And I didn't see the fruit. So I, I took on board what he t taught in First Peter 2. And now I say once, I'm the righteousness of God. Yes. I'm a new creature. I'm plugged into my Jesus. 
and it's mine. I'm, I'm healed, I'm free. And it's usually if a pain comes on or any kind of fear, I say that and I go about my day and I realize no more fear, no more pain. And there's a word I, I've studied and it's the word amen. The Hebrew root word of amen is amana. And it simply means something said with settled security. And that's how, that. that's how I feel after listening to Chad. But he makes it so clear that we have this healing inside of us and just have the faith and stand by the faith and ask for what you want and God knows your needs and yeah, just so it's hard to pinpoint, but it's a lot. Things that God was already stirring in my spirit, he pulling it out, pulling it further out and affirming it. what I already felt in my spirits and deepening understanding of what he's trying to reveal to me. So. Yeah. That I'm dead. <laughs> that, that hit me so hard. We are equal to Jesus. And, you know, it's hard to comprehend, but we can do what he does. What did you think about Jake's Lego set? That was really cool. It was like a Lego village. Yep. What was the coolest thing in the Lego village you saw? Uh, probably the Daily Bugle Center because I'm listening to it on a YouTube video. What's the coolest Lego thing you have? I do have a Techni Trust truck which has um, gears and it's like... Um, no way. Yes way.